yeah, so what happened is in December 1st, China, as uh, Chinese uh, flight, flight authorities, the CAAC approved the 737 MAX for, with an airworthiness directive. However, the 97 aircraft MAXs already in China are still grounded. Um, part of that, I think, is air traffic in China is flat at about 18, 000, uh, 18 to 19,000 flights a week, um, given what's going on with COVID and the Omicron wave there. Um, but we've seen some activity. For instance, last week, an aircraft flew from the U.S. to uh, Zhuzhan, I, I believe, a completion center that was just opened with one aircraft completed out of that completion center. One could only conclude that the aircraft was sent over for either a paint shop to most likely a Chinese customer. So it seems like we've been making incremental steps with China approving the MAX to officially fly and get it off the ground. Um, this could be seen as a setback, obviously, given it's the same manufacturer. But again, the planes are different, even though they're part of the same family, different variants, ones from 1997 um, with the 800 introduced back then. Sheila, we're here in Singapore. This is obviously a terrible tragedy, but in terms of the potential risk, if we're just talking about Boeing specifically, if we were to discover that it was due to a fault in the plane and nothing to do with any kind of carrier or pilot error, what is the tail risk for Boeing in terms of their delivery schedule and in terms of what that would mean materially for them moving forward if you're looking at the share price as well? So in terms of the 737NG, uh, Boeing actually stopped manufacturing the last one a few years ago. It only manufactures the mass, uh, MAX. So it wouldn't have any financial implications. It would probably have uh, implications for the um, engine uh, manufacturers that might have some issues with their aftermarket. Um, obviously, it would be a risk to Boeing. But just given the safety record of this aircraft, again, and the fact that it's only had nine fatal accidents in 25 years, um, I highly doubt it's a manufacturer's issue. Um, it's obviously too early to, 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 to think about that but or to make that conclusion, but it seems like the safety record um, would mean something you know, abnormal happened. Yeah, because that, that's what I was actually talking about. In terms of the, the max deliveries that they are trying to get into China, get across the rest of Asia, you don't think that this incident, even if it was to be a Boeing fault, investors don't have to necessarily be concerned that that could impact those deliveries and their certification moving forward? Sure. So obviously the MAX is, has huge financial implications. Um, the MAX right now, 96% of deliveries are to the US, Europe, and South America. Basically, Asia PAC accounts for 4% of, um, uh, for, for, uh, 40% of the backlog, but only 6% of deliveries thus far. So China holding back MAX approval or flying it in, in in the air is actually holding the rest of Asia Pac from accepting delivery of the aircraft. So if somehow this 800 issue is related to the MAX or just has authorities question the MAX once again, then we would see a prolonged timeline for that you know, MAX production increase that we're expecting.